Hello, I'm back once again with another problem of finding derivative quotient rule and which is y equals to root x over root x plus 1 and question is saying we have to use the quotient rule, right? So we don't have to think any other rules. Let's first talk about the quotient rule. What is quotient rule? The quotient rule is saying if you have a function something like u which is being divided by another function v and if you have to find out the derivative of this such kinds of function with respect to some quantity you can say x then it is v function v times derivative of the function u minus u times derivative of the function v over the square of the function v or you can say something if u is my first function and v is my second function then I can say like second function times derivative of the first function minus first function times derivative of the second function over the square of the second function it doesn't mean that it's two square two here and one here is representing the functions right I hope you understand and here our question is our question is here y equals to root x and over root x plus one so what I'm assuming later you know actually we have to use this formula so I'm just supposing late u I'm supposing this root x as a u which is root x actually root x means x to the power 1 by 2 and let me suppose v equals to this this quantity root x plus 1 root x plus 1 all right which is actually x to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 and now see here later if you're going to use you know, like la later when we'll find out the derivative of this function one over the function another one then we have to use this formula definitely and where we need this du over dx and we need dv over dx so that is why now let's find out and let's put it uh, let's put that things later right when we need it so I'm just going to find out derivative of this uh, function u differentiating both sides with respect to x we'll be getting du over dx equals to now power rule let's apply power rule so it is 1 by 2 times x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 and here Again, v it is, so let's find out derivative of the v with respect to x, differentiating both sides with respect to x. We'll be getting here now. Again, use the power rule here. Power is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 times x to the power, whatever we have, reduced by 1. And then we're going to get, hmm, pretty well, 1 by 2 root x. And here also, 1 by 2 root x. I think you understand here, actually, I, I, I eat a gap here. <laughs> well, it is. 1 by 2 times x to the power minus half and here 1 by 2 times x to the power minus half when this minus half will go down steady it will be positive half and a power of any anything power of anything half that is actually root x we already discussed here so now let's find out the derivative here our function is going to be y equals to now u over v I understand this u means x over 1 by 2 or you can say root x right here u is representing root x and here v is representing root x plus 1 so don't confuse All right and now derivative of the function y with respect to x is equal with now the same formula I'm gonna use it what I had used here right this formula v this all so let's use one by one all the stuff here v representing here see v equals to root x plus 1 root x plus 1 times du over dx and du over dx if you come it is half root x minus again u so u is this this quantity root x quantity right so it is root x times dv over dx if you look here dv over dx it is 1 by 2 root x and then whole quantity v square this equals to I can put here v square what is my v root x plus 1 whole square root x plus 1 whole square All right now let's solve it properly so see here 1 by 2 root x 1 by 2 root x you can take common also and if you want you can cut this also alright so what I did I just write here root x plus 1 and this is 1 by 2 and write 1 by 2 so I'm taking this 1 by 2 outside and this root x plus 2 and this root x will divide this whole quantity right and minus 1 will be left because 1 by 2 I have already taken common and then whole divided by root x plus 1 whole square and if you go further see here root x will now divide it what you'll get it yeah 1 by 2 
you'll get 1 plus um, 1 over root x minus 1 and then whole divided by root x plus 1 whole square so I'm just going to cancel up this plus 1 and minus 1 and then I'll be left with 1 by 2 root x times root x plus 1 whole square so here is my dy over dx so this is the derivative what we need to find out I hope you understand how to find out the derivative using the cosine rule alright so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye